Western North America is often defined by the mountain ranges which elevated far above sea level. But these mountain ranges have not always existed. In fact, many are quite new and even still forming. It was the northeast of North America, which is the oldest portions of the continent. The mountains here are far more eroded. And Western North America began as a shallow sea. It was when the supercontinents collided to form Pangaea that uh, there was uplift in the Rocky Mountain region, forming uh, a land which was known as the Ancestral Rockies. There was no volcanic eruptions associated with this. It was simply uplift. When Pangaea broke up in the Triassic period, this started North America moving west, where it contacted the uh, ocean plates to its west, and then started a subduction zone. Much of Western North America did not physically exist attached to the original nucleus of the continent, Laurentia. Much of it was added as other regions collided with it, known as terrains. These could be microcontinents, they could have been island arcs, and these terrains fused at varying points. Some were truly ancient and are known as pericritonic uh, terrains. Others collided in the late Paleozoic, going into uh, the Triassic period before um, Pangaea had separated, including the very large microcontinent of Sonomia and regions of the Klamath Mountains. Following the breakup of Pangaea, North America collided westward with another plate, not the Pacific plate, which currently contacts much of the western coast. There was a previous plate, which still has some remnants today, the Farallon plate. As the Farallon plate was subducted under North America, the material from it, as it was partially melted and formed magma, helped to cause uplift and uh, formed uh, some of the igneous material which would contribute to mountain ranges. Also, there must have been uh, terrains, microcontinents and island arcs and seamounts in the Farallon plate, which then collided with uh, Western North America, because there are remnants of these uh, structures in these areas uh, which do not match the surrounding North American uh, land masses in their minerals, in which way uh, Magnetic North had been uh, pointing. Um, and so during the uh, Jurassic uh, period, the uh, series of land masses known as the Intermontane terrains collided with North America, which contributes to northern Washington state, western Canada, and Alaska. During the Cretaceous through the Eocene, uh, another series known as the insular uh, superterrains uh, add, uh, added to western North America, which contributed much of the state of Alaska, Vancouver Island, uh, and other uh, regions. As this subduction and these collisions were occurring, a number of mountain building events known as orogenies occurred. Some of the earlier ones, such as the Nevadan orogeny, were associated with volcanic activity and magmatism, while the uh, 30 million year Laramide orogeny from the late Cretaceous to the early Eocene was not as much associated with volcanic activity apparently because the Farallon plate was no longer being subducted at such a uh, severe angle as is typical, but was rather flatter. And so because of the shallower angle of the subduction, uh, the uh, elevation of much of the Rockies was not associated uh, with volcanic activity. 